Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the virtual lab for our gravimetric determination of arsenic lab. And so if you are on the webpage, the chemcollective.org, um, and you've used the link, there's a couple things that you can see here. And so one of them is that there's always this introductory video of just how to kind of in general use their program. For this specific lab, you will see a variety of things. And so if we click on this top part, it gives us some background information up at the upper right hand corner, which I've also included in some additional materials for you. In addition to that, there's some other things, but we're going to just go ahead and jump right into the materials we have here. And so you're going to see that we're going to form uh, a precipitate that we want to be able to analyze. And so in order to do that, we're going to want to have our stock solution of um, silver nitrate. And then we want to go back to the stock room and we can grab a sample. So we'll grab that first sample. Now we also want to go back to the stock room and pick up some glassware. Say we want to have a beaker. Now this is a lot simpler than maybe having um, a beaker that we would be using in the lab where we would have to be doing these measurements ourselves. But I can go ahead and I can transfer an amount. And so say I want to have 10 milliliters that I'm going to transfer and I can pour that. Uh, in there and then close out and then I can also do that okay. with my sample okay so I'm going to do that with my sample I just grab and drag this over and then I'll do say 10 milliliters on that I don't know how you guys are going to decide to design your lab that will be up to you and how you want to do that. And so now I can go in and I can analyze and get some data rather than having to go through the whole filtration process and everything else that we would normally have to do in the lab. It's a little bit simplified and it's just going to give us our mass of the silver arsenate. And so that is one of the ways that you guys can go about and do this. And so you could do multiple trials. Um, you can click on any sample at any time to find out maybe how many milliliters you have left. Um, so there's the information and then you can go back to the stock room. There's ways of taking a look and diluting your solutions. You have a whole host of glassware available and then you have some additional tools, um, which I don't believe you'll need for this particular lab. I hope that is helpful in giving you just a little bit of an orientation with how to manipulate some of these variables in this lab. Good luck.